Neo ET7 is a large electric saloon with an overall length of 5101 mm, an overall width of 1987 mm, and an overall height of 1505 mm. Although it is still a young Chinese brand, it can be said that it is a company that really shows its potential. A big selling feature is that if you bring your car to a dedicated Neo service station, the entire drive battery will be replaced. It is said that it is possible to transfer the battery to a fully charged battery in just 5 minutes after receiving it. The styling is smooth, and it seems like an electric car that emphasizes aerodynamics. The front mask has features common to Neo. The tail end may look similar to an Audi. When you get up close to the actual car, the bump at the top of the windshield is surprisingly noticeable. The driver support system's laser sensor and lidar are built in here, which is also a strong point. It is equipped with extremely advanced systems, and if the law allows, it will be possible to use functions close to self-driving. The ET7 is the brand's flagship saloon, with soft touch finishes throughout the interior. A 12.3 inch touch monitor sits in the center of the dashboard and serves as the interface for almost all in-car functions. The front seats have a built-in massage function. It is equipped with not only a heater but also ventilation. In front of the driver is a wide meter monitor. A head-up display is also standard equipment. The display is clear and the touch monitor responds quickly. I felt the system was intuitive to use. On the dashboard is a round monitor of the eye assistant Nomi. It spins around and changes its expression in conjunction with the voice control system. It is possible to operate driver assistance systems, audio, air conditioning, sunroof, etc. The power performance is quite powerful with twin motors. A 244 PS induction asynchronous motor is mounted on the front, and a 407 PS permanent magnet synchronous motor is mounted on the rear. Multiple drive modes are available, allowing you to change steering throttle response, and air suspension settings. The power can be adjusted, and when set to the sharpest setting, it can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.8 seconds. In efficiency mode, it switches to front wheel drive and takes 12.9 seconds. The starting acceleration is quite strong as the numbers indicate. If you choose the gentler mode, one level below, you'll be immersed in a gentle yet powerful feeling befitting a big saloon. My impression of the brake pedal is that the regenerative braking and friction braking do not coordinate well, resulting in a slight sense of instability. Still, there is no shortage of braking power itself. The cruising range is claimed to be 579 kilometers, but realistic performance has not been measured.